You know you're doing it wrong. You know, I could show you how to... Okay. Let's see the ninth million time work. Happening. Still keeping up with that silent treatment, huh? How long is this going to continue? How long can you keep this up? Well, fine. We have ways of making you talk. So, you want to watch a movie? Sure do. Your taste in movies is whimsical and enchanting. You're a delight to be around. Aww. Thank you. I don't sound like that. I'd honestly forgotten. Besides, do you want to watch with us? No. But I know you'd like it. I doubt it. What kind of movie are we watching? Don't encourage her. It's a movie with David Spade and Rob Schneider. Wait, is this another film from Happy Madison Productions? Indeed it is. Then hell no. Stop putting words in my foot. I'm really just afraid to love. What do you want? To open your eyes. Here, watch. Do you like movies about underdogs? Sure do. <sighs> do you want to see the bullies get what they deserve? That actually, actually sounds, sounds pretty, pretty good. good. See? Fine. I'll watch it. Yay! 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 <sighs> So what is this about? Oh, well, you see, it's about these guys who got bullied out of sports. And then when they come back when they're older, they actually beat the jocks at their own game. Get it? Oh, God. They remade basketball. No, 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 no. Oh, good. Why more fart jokes? Really? Darn tootin'. I hate you. I don't know what to say. Did you like it? I did. What? It, it was good. He's cured! Shh. He has to process this. It was good. Sorry. Are you going into this that any sports movie starring Rob Schneider as the hero would be awful? I thought I knew exactly every turn it would make. However, this film used every cliche to its fullest advantage. It took a series of stereotypes and refined them into a sword that masterfully drove home a point. It was actually fantastic. And Rob Schneider was a relatable and likable character. Oh, did you, did you get a chill suddenly? No, why? My guess is hell's frozen over. Hold on. I bet you'll see my breath soon. You're not in the hell, and you don't have breath. I just gave praise to an Adam Sandler movie. I'm pretty sure this is my hell. <sighs> nothing. Did you learn nothing from bench warmers? It shows we can't judge a book by their cover. Those people who never played baseball due to fear of sucking in front of others or just being bullied out of play only wanted to be part of the game, to have fun. It's hypocrisy to call this just another Sandler movie when the whole thing was made to show that we are all the same inside. Oh, just admit you really enjoyed the experience. <sighs> you psycho, let your walls down. Hey, I admit it, I liked it. That's more than you usually get from me. Yeah, but why did you like it? That's actually a good question. Here, let's watch some low points. My name is Sammy. They call me Sammy Franklin. Pleased to meet you, Sammy. I'm Gus. What about that guy over there eating sunblock? Yeah, the heroes are social outcasts who can't perform standard tasks, yet they get to experience the fun of the game just like everyone else. What I see is itself hypocrisy. Two of the three protagonists are oddballs. What do we focus on with them? Check out this myth. It's all black. I look like a Borak warrior from the Captain Mighty series. We'll get a load of Mega Mitt. <laughs> Human punchlines. No work, no development aside from get a little better at baseball and a girlfriend at the end. 
who gets a nicely developed, fully matured story. Grew up to be smart and sweet and handsome. Or imagine he's only three feet tall and everybody in the school calls him Midget Boy or Yoda. And then just for fun, they throw him into a bunch of bowling pins and laugh until they pee all over themselves. The athletic, charming lead character. He comes to a group of people outside his own, aka nerds and geeks, and becomes their beacon of hope against a world that would see them ridiculed and excluded. It's the last samurai for introverts. If the focus was supposed to be on this socially awkward outcast that's center stage, why would you make your hero just a normal guy? Well, consider the following scenario where the camera was just following a socially awkward person. You'd end up with something starring John Hedder. No! It... it I didn't want to remember that. It was so bad. Not bad. Just a different audience. Sandler knows his fans, and they need a core character to latch onto. Gus is a way for a standard Sandler fan to perhaps think about how people are affected by the boorish behavior so many people use. Words hurt, psycho! It's almost as if he believes there's this caste system out there, the jocks and the nerds, that will never be breached between them. No matter how many years pass from that school bullying, the rift will remain forever. Stupid. Wow! He's a hard one to please. I know, tell me about it. I'm just opening my mind to it, like you asked me to. And the more I think about this movie, which I enjoyed, the more disturbing it becomes. How? It's transformative in all the wrong ways. Clark and Richie, they have no interest in baseball at all. Gus is the one that drags them out of their element and forces these grown adults to be beaten by children in a sport. Sure, they eventually get better, but constant humiliation is the rule for the longest time. Trust me, I know all about that. But that's the point. It's it's just for fun. It's not about whether you're good or bad. It's for the love of the game that's what matters. But why do they love the game? <laughs> Everyone loves baseball. It's American, you know? That's not very convincing. Not at all. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it leans on a cliche not everyone feels, but once again, enough of his audience identifies to accept this premise. Gus is still trying to include as many as he can into the game, regardless how bad they are at it. It's inspiring. It's heartwarming. It's right. As a baseball movie, yes, it's a good tale to tell. If the bad news bears didn't exist, this would be better remembered. But what do the all-inclusive bench warmers do people who don't like them. Nothing. It, they just prove they're better at the game. Aha! It's not about winning. Unless they lose, which they never do. How's that for all-inclusive? You're not going to ruin this for me. I don't know which one it does best. At least they don't resort to bullying tactics to win. Oh, really? How does Reggie Jackson train them again? Such nice guy things to do. Yeah, no. They're not bullies, though. They're just playing baseball to prove how one guy and his two untalented friends can beat a whole squad of 12 year olds who have trained their butts off to make sure they are playing this game at their peak. I tell you, this is not something that could happen in reality unless a billionaire backed it, just like John Lovitz did. Hey, this is actually a plausible scenario in a terrible world that the community would never back. Okay, there are holes, but that doesn't make it a bad message. Actually, I think the deeper message is the worst part. Adam Sandler made a film full of nerds and jocks that cannot stand one another, but both are portrayed as losers. It's mocking all shades of every character, with just one actual person in the middle of the mix, and a ton of innocent children watching these adults use them as pawns in this petty point they're trying to make. It would be great if I could put that aside and just see it as equality, but no! This is a movie where the only solution to bullying is to bully the bullies out of complacency and put children in crossfire. It's... I, I loved that movie. A lot of people do. It was hopeful. It was a good message about being yourself to fit in, and you got to be a geek and still be on top. 
sadly always comes back to cinema's biggest bully making us all a punchline. They sent a message that it didn't matter if you were strong or smart. You were equal. You were able to be the hero if you were an outcast. It gave people hope. And you ruined it. What? It's all a sham, isn't it? Just a complete lie. These people, they just made the movies because they wanted money. Where are you? I thought, I thought that maybe, just maybe. What's happening? You're in control of all of this, aren't you? I don't know anymore. <laughs>